Okay, before we even go into Blender, we're going to have to do something real quick because there are people who have problems with the dev kit because it's just so much inside of it. Um, it's a little confusing. Uh, so when you open up the creator's kit, it's going to be inside of a RAR. And inside the RAR, you'll see a whole bunch of files inside of it. The one you're going to need to work with is this one. The one that says Slink Physique Male and Female Original and Hourglass Avastar Underscore Blend. This is the one that has uh, the physique, the hourglass, as well as the male uh, dev kits inside of it. So we're going to work with this one. And it has uh, these blends inside that we're going to be using. Now, the other stuff is just for Maya. But I don't know how to use Maya, so I won't really be able to... Help you with that. Wait a minute. This one has feet inside of it. I could have been wearing feet. Huh. Neat. <laughs> I guess I'll play with that later. Anyway, we're just gonna focus on these two right here. So I'm just gonna select these and I'm gonna drag them onto my desktop. Oh, mother lover. That hurt. Let me turn my sound down so we don't hear the erroring sounds. There we go. So you're just gonna select these and then drag them onto your desktop. Oh, they're already here on my desktop, so I don't really need to do it. Um, another thing that I want to do before I open up, because see, here they go, Slink Physiques, they're already here. <laughs> another thing is, I don't like the UI setting that the uh, creator of Slink uses, so I'm going to do something before I actually double-click and open it. So I'm going to open up my copy of Blender. Wait for it, wait for it. Sorry, my computer's so leggy today. Alright, so I have my, um, my blender open. Jeez, I'm like long gone. I guess it's a lazy Sunday. Alright, so I have my blender open, and I want to go to File, Open, and um, find the Slink Dev Kit, this one. And before I double-click and open it, I want to scroll down and then uncheck this box that says Unload uh, Load UI. So when you have that box checked, it opens up and it kind of looks like this. I don't know. Some reason when I have my timeline closed off and this just all this just looks cluttered to me. I don't like it. So I don't like to load in other people's UIs. So um, I guess it's a little hypocritical because I'm always telling you guys load in my UI <laughs> with my other videos. So um, I don't like their UI. So I want to just go to open and then I'm gonna check this box that says load UI so it's not checked and then I'm gonna open up the slink kit and it gives me my my settings that looks more comfortable to me and uh, then we have the body so when you open it up it should look like this and you're gonna need to look over here on the right hand side to your outline and you're gonna open up this box here that says avatar I'm just gonna check that and it shows you all the things that make up this dev kit here are the bodies that you're going to be using. So you're going to choose which body you want to work with. Um, if you want to work with the hourglass, you just check this eye right here next to hourglass. If you don't, you just deselect, close it. Like just click on the eye and close it. Then if you want to work on the original physique one, you would just click on that one and then it will load up the physique body. Um, this kit, for some reason, only has one hand. So you <laughs> can't make something that requires two hands on this kit. You can only load up one hand unless you, you know, extract a hand and then plop it onto the skeleton. But uh, the kit only comes with one hand and it does come with uh, the variety of feet for you to use. You just have to check the eye for yourself to use it. Now if you're like me and you don't like this netting all over your avatar, we can, no, the dummy, we can actually take that off. So I'm going to work with the, first I'm going to select the body to work with. I'm going to pick the hourglass because that one is the most pain in the butt. Um, so once you master that, you can master all of them pretty much. So I'm going to select the hourglass and I'm going to scroll down and just pick a random hand. Kind of like, what's this elegant hand? All right, elegant hands. <laughs> and I'm going to select the pair of feet. So I'm going to work with flat feet. So once I have uh, my avatar built up, I'm going to click on the body. And I'm going to go over here to this object tab right here. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says display. 
and then you're going to see where it says wire. There's like a little checkbox here and it says wire. So you're just going to check that box and the wire goes away. I don't know why people do that. I guess to show you that it's decimated and you can't steal it or whatever. But I always think it's so like, ugh, give me a nice smooth dummy any day. All right. So another thing we're going to do to make our life easier is that we're going to click on the bones here. And we're going to go into object mode. I'm going to switch this over. I forgot I have my screencast on. So we're going to click on the bones. And we're going to go into object mode. And then you're going to go, you're going to press the M key. And you're going to move it down to the layer below it. These are all your layers. And you're just going to move it below it. This makes it easier that way when you're like working on something and you're like trying to click and then the bones keep getting in the way, you can just click on the body and like, yay, body's here, bones are out of the way. I don't know why people don't, still don't do that, but whatever. Alright, so we have our dummy and it's all set up ready for uh, to be exported, right? Wrong. We still have a problem with this body before we can export it to Marvelous Designer. You see this dial, uh, dial, I'm so used to work. This uh, dummy has thick legs, thick thighs. And if we were to make a pair of pants at Marvelous Designer with these pants, they're going to fuse together and make rigging them damn near impossible. So we are going to need to spread open uh, this avatar's legs just a little bit to produce a gap so that pants can smoothly transition and sync together between those without fusing together and becoming one like mono pant in the thigh. So um, what we're going to do is click on our bones up here. Then we're going to switch from object mode to pose mode. Then we're going to click on the bones here. And we're going to press the R key. And we're just going to slightly move her legs apart till there's a, th a gap here. And then we're going to click on the other bone and press R again. And then spread it up and again. You don't want to make it too wide. You just want to make it wide enough. Something like this is fine. Um, so, yeah. Now that her legs are spread apart, <laughs> we're going to um, go, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to click on her body and all the parts we want to export, and then we're going to export it as an OBJ. Now, if it, it's a lot easier for you if you're having a hard time selecting the body parts, you could just click on that first layer where it's only the body and then press A and it will just select everything that we need. So that's another perk of putting things on separate layers. You can just select what you want without having to uh, accidentally click on something you don't want. So now that our body is all highlighted, we're going to export it out. So what you need to do is go up to the top here and go File, Export, OBJ. And then we're going to go over here to the side and we're going to check this box that says Selection Only. And you can set this as a preset, that way you can always just make sure you have it selected right. So you can just press this and then you can name it like Marvelous Designer Dummy, hit OK. And then you can go to your object uh, operator presets and you can just check it. And then you'll know all the boxes are checked. So it's a good time saver. So once you have all this stuff checked over here, you can just name this uh, Slink Lady <laughs> dot OBJ. Or you can name it properly so you know which model you're bringing in. And um, hit export to OBJ. And that's it. So now our body has been prepped. And it's time for us to jump over into Marvelous Designer and uh, start making some clothes for her.